Hey, y'all, get to know more about me at the end of the video. All right, on today's video, we're going to make some roasted potatoes. So let's cook, let's eat. Everybody repeat, it's Vittles time. All right, you're gonna start out by boiling your potatoes. Please rinse them off before you do so. You're gonna add one quarter of a teaspoon of salt to the water. And then you're gonna check them for tenderness after about a good 20 minutes to make sure they're nice and tender before we move to the next step. How are you doing? How are your mom and them, your dad and them, your ain't and them? Uh, how is you? Have you checked in on yourself? Have you checked in on somebody else? You're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil and one pat of butter, which equals one tablespoon of butter to the oil. You're gonna make sure that it is fully melted, as you see. Then we're gonna add some dried rosemary. If you have some fresh rosemary, Add that. I like fresh over dry, but hey, we using what we got to get where we going, right? All right, Deuteronomy 4 and 7. Read it. Digest it. Put it in your spirit. And add the cooked potatoes to the oil. Okay, so don't just dump them in there from the water into there. You might want to make sure they dry it out just a little bit, but you don't have to put them on the paper towel. Just kind of shake them. Shake the excess water off before adding them to the oil. Then you're going to smash them. Please don't use your incredible hook strength like I did on that first title. You just wanna lightly smash them. If you have a potato smasher, if not, uh, use a fork. But lightly do it. You're just smashing them just a teeny tiny bit. You're not going crazy, you're not going wild. You're gonna do all of that all on every title. Make sure they're nice and smooth. Get the beauty. Smash them taters good. Smash them. After your taters are nice and smashed, we're gonna start seasoning them up real good because why? We need to go to well flavor town. So the first thing we're gonna add is one teaspoon of powdered ginger. If you do not have powdered ginger, don't worry about it. Use what you got to get where you're going. It's straight like that. All right, we're gonna add in one tablespoon of Italian spaghetti season. The only place I have ever found that is Sam's. If you do not have a Sam's Club membership, see if it's online. I've never checked, I'm sure it's there. It's a seasoning. All right, then we're gonna add in half a tablespoon of your favorite seasoning. I'm using Boray's Gourmet Seasoning. We're gonna use one teaspoon of granulated garlic, one teaspoon of granulated onion. You can use powder if that's what you have. We're just adding for flavor. That's it, that's all. We're gonna use one third teaspoon of red pepper flakes. If you want yours a little spicier, add more red pepper flakes. Uh, or you can add some cayenne. I'm gonna add in one third teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon just tastes good. And it's really good for your digestive system. And I do mean really good for your digestive system. Digestive system. So is ginger. Ginger is really good as well. We're going to flip them over because they have fried for a little bit. We're going to flip, flip, flip. And do we need to add more seasoning? No, we do not. No, we do not because we're going to add some more at the end. We're going to dust them off with a little salt. All right, our next ingredient, we're going to add a little dill weed, one third teaspoon. Or just sprinkle it on there just like I'm doing until you see the green. Sprinkle till you see the green, honey. That's how you're going to do that right there. It's going to add more flavor to our taters. We're going to flip them back over because what we're trying to do is get them crispy on both sides. But we want them to remain nice and tender on the inside. So we're not going to... Fry them until they burnt. We're just going to fry them until they crispy. Please leave a comment. What's your favorite way to cook your taters? This is my first time doing this this way. And guess what? I like them. I like them a lot. I'll keep doing it here on out just like that. All right. I'm going to add some red onion to the skillet because uh, taters and onion. Duh. Anyway. <laughs> So I sliced up me some red onion and put it in the same skillet so it can get some of that flavor and add some of the flavor to the potatoes. I'm going to remove them from the skillet as you see in me do. Some people are allergic to onion. If you are allergic to onion, guess what you don't do? Don't add onion. It's simple as that. 
So guess what I'm doing? I'm doing me while you do you. You do what works for you while I do what works for me. I'm gonna remove those from the skillet as such because they are done cooking. And we are headed into the latter part of this doggone video. Y'all don't even need to see all of this, but uh, I just feel like sitting here talking with you. I wanna thank you for spending time with me. Please like, share, tell your mama and them, your daddy and them, your auntie and them, your cousin and them. We cooking and we eating and we always repeating. You're going to finish your mouth with a little sea salt. Why? Because it just adds more flavor to it. It's freaking delicious. I thoroughly enjoyed it just like this. All right. I am Stacy D. Entrepreneur, your chef for Bo Ray's Cajun Cuisine. I am a foodie. I'm always sharing different recipes that I come up with or that i come across this one here i just came up with it you know because i had those taters sitting on the counter and i wanted to cook them <laughs> and i got a little mango in the background so yeah that's what i ate taters onion and a little mango on the side mm, weird dinner but it was my dinner uh i didn't have to you know hey i'm sharing it with you it is what it is all right i do make t-shirts so get to know me get to know all the different things that i do all things stacy that is my link tree you can go to that link tree address and see everything that i do i am a uh, kitchen and bath designer i make health conscious t-shirts uh and i cook those are the things that i do um anything have anything to do with houses we flip houses, we clean houses, we cook in the kitchen. <laughs> but anyway, I thank y'all. See y'all on the next video. Love you. I see you soon. May God continue to keep you, hold you, and cradle you in the palm of his hand. Bye.